Hello again, Bison Nation. Welcome to our game day preview. A big matchup coming up this weekend in Youngstown, Ohio. As the second-ranked North Dakota State Bison take on the eighth-ranked Youngstown State Penguins. Jeff Colhane and Jeremy Jorgensen here with you. Someone's got to give Jorgie 11 straight true road wins for NDSU, 11 straight home wins for Youngstown State. Some of the, something's got to go down in this game this weekend. Yeah, and every time we've been to Youngstown, it's been a battle. Uh, in 2013, we kind of got after them a little bit, but it's always a struggle out there, and that's a credit to them. Very good football team. I think they've taken on the identity of Bo Pelini. Very physical team. It's going to be a tough one. Yeah, absolutely. The last time a team won at the Ice Castle, it was the Bison. November of 2015, 17 unanswered points coming back to win 27 to 24. The Bison offense is rolling right now, scoring right around 52 points per ball game. Have not thrown an interception this season. Here's Lance Dunn and Austin Cooner talking about the keys to success offensively. Just have the ball as much as, as much as possible, keep the defense off the field, and, and uh, just uh, have a, a great run game. And, and Easton, Easton's throwing the ball as good as he's ever been, so he, you know, we're going to spread the ball out too. So we just, it's a lot of things that we got planned for them. Making sure that everybody's focused and uh, knowing that uh, we're going to be the better team in the fourth quarter just because of all the wearing out that we've done up until that point. So, And just uh, trusting what Coach Kramer has done for us over the summer and uh, offseason. Youngstown State, they are all about physicality on both sides of the football, especially offensively. They love to run the football, led by Tevin McCaster, eight touchdowns on the season. That's second most to Lance Dunn, who has 12 rushing touchdowns on the year and right over 100 yards per game on the ground. It's going to be a great matchup. A battle in the trenches on both sides, but... This Youngstown group offensively, they want to put the ball uh, on the ground and let McCaster go. Yeah, it's two teams that really want to do the same thing. Control the clock, run the football, and both teams have been able to do that so far this year. Uh, you know, quarterback play for Youngstown has been a question mark all year long, uh, but Nathan Mays has played well. Uh, we expect him to play, and he's a good quarterback. Yeah, absolutely. The Bison defensively are the only FCS team in college football not to allow a passing touchdown this season and only allowing right around 95 yards per game through the air. Here is Aaron Steidel, Nate Tangway, talking about the defensive keys and why the Bison have been so successful to this point. Everybody just needs to put their chest on them and do what Cole Green does in our defense. And everybody needs to gang tackle, everybody needs to run there, and everybody needs to be there uh, by the ball. So uh, the more we do that and gang tackle, uh, the better we're going to be off. They're not a big passing team, so I mean, we're not also not big passing rushers, the big guys inside. So that kind of this game is really a highlight of our season, kind of say, hey, if we do well in this game, this is you know, one of the big points in our season. So a night game on Saturday for the premier game in FCS college football between the Bison and the Penguins. A little different info on the TV side this week for Bison fans. Let them know with everything that's going on with the Valley Package. Yeah, this game is part of the exclusive package for the Missouri Valley Football Conference ESPN3, the Watch ESPN app, and ESPN College Extra. No NBC North Dakota this week, so plan ahead for that. Yep, on the radio side, same deal. Statewide radio network, same setup, I should say, as uh, Lock It In, the Peterson Farm Seed Bison Radio Network coverage starts at 5.30 Central Time. Coverage locally here in the Fargo-Moorhead area starts at 2.30 with the Bison Tailgate Show on Bison 1660 and 92.7 FM. And if you want more Bison Sports Talk during the week with Jeremy and myself, tune into the Insiders weekdays from 11 to 1 Central Time on Bison 1660 and 92.7 FM. Download the Bison 1660 app. It's free. You can listen to all sorts of Bison Sports Talk on your phone and all game broadcasts as well. For Jeremy, I'm Jeff. Big thanks to Rich Grossman, also to Ryan Nelson. This has been our game day preview of Youngstown State right here on GoBison.com.